Today's been kind of stressful. Not for any good reasons, just people online, being people online. First world problems. But it seems like a good opportunity. To sit back and relax with some nice, casual, relaxing Rayman. Because if there's any game that I think of when I think relaxing, it's Rayman 1 for the PlayStation 1. Now, let's see if... I'm gonna have to restart. Or if it's gonna comply this time. My controller. As is tradition, the Rayman streams always start with... a few minutes of controller malfunctioning. I think defocusing and refocusing seems to have fixed it immediately, though. I think that was the issue. We've done the first two worlds. Haven't gotten absolutely everything. We've missed some cages. I don't know if I'll need them all yet. But we're up to the Caves of Scops and whatever might come after. I'm anticipating they probably made a whole world out of the Candy Chateau. That's what I'm going to venture a guess at. Given that it was a whole original tile set, and they only did one level with it in the original game. I don't believe this is the same music that played here in the original game. Because I rewatched our highlights recently. And this was an area where uh, the music got really relaxing and pretty. Which, as we all know in video games, is a sure sign of the hardest levels in the game. This is a rule. Don Donkey Kong Country proved this. The Bramble levels have the nicest music. It's so you don't lose your mind while playing them. Uh-oh. I think Maple Story had nice music, and that's not a hard game. A tedious game, but not a hard game. I feel like I may have made this harder for myself with that swinging. Also, I should have checked out uh, I should have checked out a new uh, Rayman skin. I'll do that after this level. I don't know if this is true. I have not fact-checked this. But I got into a brief discussion before I started streaming about uh, Rayman 1 and 2, and apparently someone told me that they were like 80% done with a sequel to this. Like a, a standard sequel. And then they were told they had to do 3D because 3D had just come around and it was big and it was in demand, so. Where am I going? I don't want to... I'm just going to drop to my death, aren't I? I can damage tank it. That probably wasn't the intended way, but it'll work. That definitely is not the intended way. Uh, I've mentioned that I'm going back to work next week. And therefore, well, I'll still have some streaming time. I'll be able to, uh, probably like once a weekend, do a solo stream if I so choose. Oh, they made this easier with the placement of the rings. So I would like to, uh... I'd like to get as much done as I can while I have the time. Oh, that's a wall. Like, maybe I'll finish this today. I don't know. We'll see. I'm expecting yeah! two streams of this left. 
So I'll have this and one more. And that's probably not going to happen before I go back to work. This sounds like the music. This is the, this is the nice, relaxing music. That's how you know you're in for a bad time. Naruto character, like, dying while this is playing. Just take every hit. That's alright, I got the health. Or I had the health. Uh, oh good, that doesn't... Despite the spikes, that doesn't hurt me. I also think those guys were invulnerable once they were on the ceiling. In the original game. Now what are these? These are new platforms. Okay, these are just breakaway platforms. New to Rayman, but not new to video games. It does sound like a hiccup, the hit the hit sound effect. Jack and I have uh, pretty much dead stopped the other series that we were watching while going through Steven Universe. Because he is he's enjoying it quite a bit. We watched another episode of Baki recently or on the final most recent Netflix season of that. Still crawling very slowly through My Hero Academia. I'm watching Wok Fu on my own. And after that, I might... I might watch through uh, Kim Possible. Because I remember enjoying it as a kid, but I never sat down and watched through it. I don't think it's going to be the best show I've ever seen, but... I remember liking it well enough. It had, it had memorable characters. Squidward's house is punching the floor. Platform that falls right into water? It is. I'm surprised that wasn't changed. You have very little time to react to that. This game's mechanics would make for a cruel Rayman maker. But maybe. This is one of those games where the the platforming isn't tile-based. So it'd be kind of hard to make a make a maker for. It's like uh, Donkey Kong Country. There is a fan Mega Maker, and I.
think that uh, Sonic and uh, Crash would make for great Maker-style games. Sonic because it's not totally tile-based, but it is comprised of, you know, recognizable pieces and chunks, like the loops and things. And you can make them like, uh, you can make levels like Hot Wheel tracks. And Crash isn't totally grid-based, but it's, it's got some elements of it with, like, the, the crates. The crates are grid-based. And also the levels are uh, on the linear side, which makes it a lot easier than something totally open world, like uh, Spyro or Mario 64 even. Though there was uh, Kaze Emanuar, the person who makes all the all the crazy Mario 64 ROM hacks, did make a Mario 64 maker. As a ROM hack for Mario 64. It's obviously not as user friendly as Mario Maker proper, but it's so very impressive that he did it. stance on uh, hiring fan creators is. I mean, obviously, Sega did it with, uh, at least as far as Sonic Mania. what Ubisoft is making in studio anymore these days as opposed to just you know being a publisher buying the rights to a bunch of games other people make putting everything on you play I felt like that red platform would have continued going left. Or would have continued going right all the way over here. Music? There you go. The spikes are hard to see if you're not looking for them. Which is, I guess, fine. It's a design choice. Probably won't be doing a lot of uh, solo streams in the future, but uh, I was still thinking about at some point doing uh, Emperor's New Groove on the PS1, which I grew up with, and uh, Croc. Which is not a good game. It has a lot of problems, Croc. But... Yeah! <laughs> it's one of those things that I grew up with, and people who did tend to be nostalgic for. The failed Yoshi platformer. Where's the shop? levels in a little while. Right, I guess I'll be the shock rocket. The shock master! Let's try some uh, magician's challenges.
Ring Toss Tussle. Okay, so these are all... Here on is all new. Probably worth damage boosting through this guy, these guys. I say and then don't do. This definitely doesn't seem optimal. This guy I have to do, I have to kill in order to uh, do the ring though. stuff in games. I'm glad when games have it. Yeah! Oh, really? I was that close? Oh, that was my time. I guess. Rock hike. Oh, not these guys. The Rocket, Rocket Man, Elton John Ray Man. Sorry, Skyrocket. Mega Man has time trials? Which games are those in? Oh, what? why am I going that way? My stick was acting up again. Oh, I have to collect the guys! Well, shoot. I already failed. Come on, stop doing that. Why are you doing that? Please, joystick. I didn't even touch the joystick. All of them do. Just for each of the each of the levels individually. Or are there like are there special time trials like a boss rush? I 
gotta memorize. I gotta know what I'm going, where I'm going before I go there. Let's not do that one. I'm cool without the hanging one. I didn't get any of the art world hats. Uh, almost got, I thought I got stuck for a second there. So it's not, it's not like certain tokens are linked to certain bonus levels. It's just you have to get so many tokens before you unlock the progressive bonus levels. Hello, Joe. My diner's power has been cut off. This guy was always just here. Just... A random alien. Running a beach diner in Rayman World. All the soda is getting stale. H how does soda get stale? You refrigerate it to keep it cool, but it's fine. It lasts forever. Okay, so we still have the, the dark level is still a thing. Except now there's a, uh... I don't remember if there was an explanation. As to the let the fist light mechanic in the original game or not. I don't think you actually spoke to Joe. But now this little, uh, firefly actually follows your fist. Oh, that goes up. I don't like dark levels in video games. I mention this every time. I don't think anyone does. Or if they do, I've never met them. Oh yeah, everything goes bad eventually, but not for lack of refrigeration. Firefly knew better than to go down with me. <laughs> There's something down here.
Dare I try? I shouldn't have tried. I'm not keeping up with uh, what's going on in real time, but uh, just to go ahead and date this video. I believe today is the Biden inauguration in DC. And some people are, uh, some people are tweeting warnings not to go to DC today or the day of the official changeover. You know, crazy extremists. That whole group. Oh, what are you? Just dropping out of the sky? Alright, that's fine. You can live in that spike pit. Again, my one complaint is that I didn't still have to second guess if I could fall in holes. I just have to jump in every one and hope. Like this one. By random chance, I could never have known, this happened to be one of the holes that I can, in fact, jump down. Just had to take a leap of faith. How do you get here? Do you have a Firefly friend? This, the checkpoint cameraman is going on his own platforming adventure in order to get to places and assist Rayman with his platforming adventure. Even if they are just tings, the uh, one-ups are nice for the extra, the, the health refill. Bad enough having to jump, having to guess where you can jump down, but having to do it in the dark just make means there's even more of it. Where am I? I'm going to the water. I don't know who will be uh, hosting yet, but I believe the me brawlers are going to be going up against the Banjo and Kazooie. Seems to be the next event happening. It hasn't been confirmed yet. Actually, the Ganondorf Discord hasn't done any... Uh, yeah! Any JMU events in quite a while. And the Bowser one I just never have got around to participating in. Okay, here we go. Here's the wire caves. You know what? This makes sense now. Maybe this was in the no. I had the manual to Rayman One. If there were story elements in the manual, I would I would have known about them. So I wonder if they got if the creator of this got the narrative from any kind of official source, or if they just kind of made it up themselves. If Joe's power is out, and Rayman is on a quest to restore the power, suddenly it makes sense why there's just a bunch of wires in this random cave. Now it's plot relevant. I mean, I guess it doesn't make that much sense why there are wires in a cave, but... I 
still haven't gotten the last, uh, the last tower yet. I guess that must be here. The cave of Scots. Or Caves of Scots. He's upgraded since the original game. Seems like a one way route. I'm gonna go up first. Oh, these are grabbable. That makes sense. So, other than Castlevania. That one's obvious. What are some of your favorite uh, game soundtracks, area? Fantasy 5. I don't know that I've heard any music from 5. But again, I don't know the Final Fantasy series very well. I just know the ones that most everyone knows. Namely, 6 and 7. A little bit of 8. I guess that was sort of uh, where the Heeries, the series, and the Heeries hit its, uh, like most of its prominence in the West. Yeah! It's still got a, a very large fan base. But the fan base for the more recent Final Fantasy games just f feels kind of isolated. Which is to say, I don't know anyone who plays them, or know anyone who knows anyone who plays them. I've always kind of perceived the JRPG crowd to be in kind of their own their own crowd. Like, there's not a lot of crossover with other genres. Either you play all those games, or you just you just don't, and you don't know anything about them. That's changing, though. I know people now who uh, play Persona, Final Fantasy, things like that. Even if I am not one of them. What were some, uh, what were some story ticks from 5? I assume, like most JRPGs, the bad guy turns into God by the end. As per Kefka and Sephiroth and so on and so forth. Wasn't the bad guy of the first Final Fantasy just a big old demon and that was it?
Oh, well, there we go. Hello, you're new. You didn't exist. Vaguely crash like music. I touched the stick. I shouldn't touch the stick. It's freaking out now. Okay, we're good. Heard those names before at least. Wasn't he named wasn't he originally named Butts? Isn't that his Japanese name or something? The way this guy is animated reminds me of a, a little big planet boss. But he, he looks made of cardboard. Not to diminish the, the Sprider's efforts. I mean, he does look like a Rayman boss. See, now maybe it is a good thing that I did the infinite lives thing, because otherwise I'd get a game over and I'd have to do the whole level over and it would just make the stream take longer.
There we go. Yeah, full heal. Now what? Oh. Is that it? I just go back out now? I guess I just go out the way I came. I can't climb on any of these. I don't think. No. Hello. How do I get up to you? Oh, there's a ledge. And now for this part of the cave. Something appeared. Oh, it was the exit. Yeah! <laughs> I hit the stick again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! We're good. I think this looks like it is the same area from before. That's clever. They're actually doing the thing where you go in the cave and then you go back out again. This is a nice music track. I don't remember if it was in the Blue Mountains or if it's unique to the... I think it's unique to the Cave of Scops. Got to check. Oh, I lose my fist doing that, though. I am no longer Mr. Fister. Wait, which way do I want to go? I don't know which side I want to go to. Fairly easy to discern. Wait, maybe I wanted to go down. Yeah, we're going down again. No, wait. Darn it. I'm dead. Unless maybe. Uh, oh, wait. What's this? I've already been here. I thought I was being clever. I thought I found a secret. part of what I like about this, and, uh... I did it again! Wait, go back. No, change. I can't change it once it's hit. Oh, that's all that was. It was the cage. I like the, uh, secret hunting aspects of this game in Donkey Kong Country. Mostly because it's also secrets that are, like, worth looking for. They're not just extra lives like in Mario. 
You did it, Rayman! You restored the power! I blew up some beach balls for you so you can cross the water. Just watch out for the piranhas! Dude, ain't you got a boat? Here we go. The Joe Balloons. With the stupid nose fish. I'm waiting for those nose fish. There it is. Oh, it's like one of, one of Rayman's family members got it on with a fish. I don't like it. Fortunately, they've added abundant checkpoints. In the original level, there were none. I wonder if I can punch those guys. I can! I don't know if I could do that in the original game. I'm glad I can now. Also, Crash, I guess, had a uh, had a point to secrets and exploring levels because yeah! you needed to get all the crates in order to get all the gems, and the gems unlocked extra another ending or extra levels. Joe's wares. Oh, there's another shop. Have a look at some of my alien tech. Oh, it helps to locate secrets. Well, I might as well. That seems like a good thing to have, a cage locator. Molten Depths. That's a new level name. Who dares disturb my beauty sleep? You will not get away with this. Drown in lava! Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I will. So happy. Not a care in the world. I guess this isn't tiring for him. He can do this all day. Oh, this is this is the level. I thought it was gonna drop down to the level, no. And they just decided to use the the level intro drum music. It's like the it's like the, the Safari Zone in Pokemon Red and Blue, where they just use the evolution song, and you just hear that for minutes on end. cage here. Is the dirt down there? I guess. I don't believe there was lava in the original game. Well, that's not the way to the cage. Maybe I'll come back around this way. Or it'll appear after. I Wait, I see it. See that? See that sparkle? I can make it. No, I can't. It's too high. 
Oh, wait. Oh, no. How do I get to that? This guy doesn't go high enough, does he? No. Oh, it's so close. not what I was supposed to do. a little bit. That's all right. Hello. Oh, you, you, there's a fire version of you now. Do you ever go down or no? Oh, he explodes. Somehow I made that. And did not die here either. <gasps> Slava's very forgiving. I appreciate that. Not that forgiving. from this music. I can hear it. It was mainly the guitar in the spider boss. This one sounds more like uh, crash sewer music. Or even the Arabian level. Some combination of them. It's like the it's the washed out effect. I haven't played Gex in a long time. I had the... I think Enter the Gecko was the PlayStation 1 3D Gex as a kid. But I never really loved it. I never got very far in it. It didn't seem like it played very well. It was more about the, like, the writing. Oh, 
And then later as an adult, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to buy it again. So I bought Gex on the PS1, and it turned out to be the 2D platforming Gex. Which I didn't know existed, I didn't know there was a 2D Gex. But I guess that was the first one. And I couldn't get into the 2D Gex. There was a story about the 2D Gex. I, th I think it was a Did You Know Gaming thing. Where the creator or one of the level designers or something was upset that his level idea had been tweaked or rejected or something. And so he included it in the game anyway, along with an angry hidden message, like insulting the people who cut it. That's the health I need to get through those rocks! Alright, for real this time. Moving quick. I wonder how much of an impact Mario 2 had on platforming games. Because its whole... its thing that was new was that it was vertical. Or that it had vertical sections, which Mario 1, even Mario 3, really didn't. No, Mario 3 did. They were not as common as in Mario 2. But then you have levels like this, and you have, like, Toxic Tower in Donkey Kong Country 2. We started seeing vertical levels in platforming games. the fortresses and crash. And I wonder if those still would have happened to quite the same degree without Mario 2. This is a good time. We're in a good spot. Oh, right, I have the plant. I forgot. That's a good, clean burning mushroom. Good non burning mushroom, I should say. I'm not gonna get that one. Hey, I got it. Does that count? Four out of six. There's not a there's not a, a summonable HUD. I don't think that I can uh, I don't think I can check at a given moment what my cage status is. I guess I'll be able to see if that cage is still there when I get there. 
Nope, I got it. Well, that gives me plenty of time. I guess trying to get both in one go was already kind of uh, ambitious. Have you ever played any uh, Kirby games, Darian? I had Kirby's Adventure on the NES, and I liked that one growing up. I tried the Dreamland games later on, and I've seen other ones played. I can't really get into the series after it became a beat-em-up. might have gone the wrong way, aka otherwise known as the right way. Oh no, this is the this is the presence route. Oh, the good little boys and girls routes. I right, gotta get one of these too. Oh, there's a there's another one down there though. I'm going way down there. Oh no, I need that. Oh! I see what I was supposed to do. That's a clean burn in hell, I'll tell you what! Oh, I thought it was the- th I thought it was the last one! Always gotta have a, a rising lava level in your platforming games. Lava or goo? There's toxic slime in Donkey Kong. Oh, that hurts. I thought that was a bouncing, climb onable rock. Oh, he's got a, like a flame wave. This guy's out of street. This guy's out of Fatal Fury. Is the lava still coming? I think it is. There we go. Yeah! Aw, really? Oh, that's a dick move. Oh, hello. Oh, we get our third tower now? Thought I'd have to collapse the way to the last tomb totem. No matter, I'll just collapse the cave on you! Man, once again proving his lower extremities are immune to all forms of peril. Lava, spikes, you name it. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. You know, just hanging out in lava. Only his head is truly vulnerable. He's like, a, he's a lich, basically. His head's the important part. Everything else is, is fine. It's immortal. Which doesn't explain how he gets hurt while walk by walking on spikes, but... Work with me. Just hanging out in lava. I'm just gonna get a little lava stand. This is the easiest form of this boss yet. This is easier than the first fight with him. Just hang out in lava. You guys good on lava? Oh, 
Whatever. Mr. Scops will surely get you. He's the grumpiest guy I know. That's the key trait to a successful murderer, is, is grumpiness. Grumpy, the dwarf, savage. Thank you for releasing us, Rayman. We are forever grateful and will now help you on your quest. You can climb us. Oh. So what, I just like grab you? Yeah, grab and pull. Uh, come on, just go ahead and yank all the way up. That's right up the shaft. Gee, Batilla the Fairy, I don't know if I like this tune, Totem. These tunes are weird. Okay, I got all the cages. Oh, what's this? Another mosquito level. Ah, sure. I'll try everyone once. Just knocking out the wildlife. Screw these fish. I don't think I finished the last mosquito level. I don't remember if I did. Oh, well, a little overkill. Squidward is running a marathon. He is going at it. I'm, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm good. the number of cages. Stop. Please. Desist. Well, I, I was going to exit the level, but I like this music, so I think I'll stay. I think this is new. I don't think this music was in the original game. If so, this is the first new track that I've liked. It's a nice track. Much, much better than the YouTube music. These cage locators are so helpful. Uh, well, I say that. I seem to be in a predicament now. Maple Story music. Okay, so there's there's something I have to activate around here. Where's where's the sparkle?
That's death. That's not a sparkle. It is, again, nice to at least have the sparkle. In the original game, I think they were completely invisible. about I finally moved my TV closer to me because I'm too old and blind to see anything across the room on it. That's the spike sparkle. That can't be the the activator. Yeah. Stick again. Oh no. Wait. Wait, was that it? I just had to walk slightly further? This game. see, like, the strained pleasure on its face as Rayman yanks on it. Do you see? I don't like this. What are you? Just a little... Oh, okay. I'll take it. Free life. I think this was the area just before Scops. Cronky is raiding. Oh, thank you, Cronky. Oh, I see something. What is this? Oh, it's just stuff. All right, I like stuff. There's a lot of people. Hello, everyone. Welcome. I don't know that I've ever had this many people before. Oh, this is controllable. I don't know how familiar everyone else is with this. This is Rayman Redemption, which is a fan reimagining, I want to say, of the original Rayman. It adds a bunch of new levels, a bunch of new features, and fixes some of the some of the quality of life issues with Rayman 1. It has, like, uh, shops that you can purchase upgrades with tings with, which is what these arrows are. I now have arrows that show me where the cages are. I've never played this before, either. I'm hoping that there's a, uh, there's a 100% and a non-100% ending. Because the original game only had a 100% ending. Ow! Ow! 
You had to get everything in the game just to fight the final boss. And the final boss was kind of a letdown. So I'm sure that's going to be a better fight in this version. Also, only made by... Uh, this is all made by one, one person, as I understand. It's uh, Rayman Redemption. And it's free. You can just... It's, it's executable. You can find... Just download online. You can play it for yourselves. I am having to use Joy to Key because it has not been uh, cooperative with my Xbox One controller. But it is control. It's meant to be controller compatible. It worked with a 360 controller. I probably need to get one of those again anyway because uh, Project 64 has also given me trouble with the with the bone controller. I'm still wondering about that first cage. Maybe I'm gonna go down again at the end of the level. Hello. What's up here? There's more level up here. Ow. The original Rayman one I had on the PlayStation, and I've streamed it before. It's one of my favorite platformers. Yeah! That and Donkey Kong Country. I love uh, the first two of those games. Come on, wake up. Hey! Well, there's ground. Which means that this is immediately... A much easier fight than the original Scops fight. No, I guess this is the original Scops fight, more or less. They replace the section where you have to hang over the lava. That wasn't in this version. Maybe they replaced it. Maybe we're still going to the... Oh, I remember. I remember, Scops. I gotta shoot his things back at him. No? Yep, okay. We're just on our way. The original is very hard. It is an extremely unforgiving platformer. I have, a. Uh, I I archive my streams on YouTube. I actually have highlights of uh, when me and my stream buddy did Rayman 1. Although it's made, the hardest part of it is that there are finite lives is the main thing. So as you go through the game and it just gets harder and harder, you lose the ability to get more lives. And so now you're doing the, very, the hardest levels in the game with a maximum of, like, three tries, and no way to get more of them. That was what made Rayman 1 really unforgiving. Oh, you're a speedrunner for Rayman 1. Well, Godspeed, I would never have the patience. They did, uh... Some of the differences in this game are you have all of the abilities immediately. You still unlock the pink rings, as well as a couple things. But you have the helicopter and the run right out of the gate. This is new. What is this? What are you doing? Okay. I don't like this. Ah. And they did tone down some of the some of the boss stuff. Like this might be easier than the original Scops. Space Mama was way easier. Or at least way less tedious. Yeah. 
you don't have to do the thing with the... Ow! Man. This looks harder than the original scop... Scops? Yeah, maybe. The homing claw is definitely... That's new. So that's, that's something that's a pain to deal with. But Space Mama does the thing where uh, she summons all of the... I don't even know what they're supposed to be. The explosives? She goes through that phase only once instead of constantly, so it's way less tedious. One of the original composers for this game died recently. We talked about that last stream. There were like four or five of them. And they were, uh, they were French jazz musicians. That I don't think did a lot otherwise. Although some of them we found out, at least one of them is still working for Ubisoft on sound design. Died in 2019. Well, that that's recently for me. I'm old, okay? Wait, what happened? It just bounced off of him. It's interesting that the boss fights are still in, uh... 3 by 4 despite the game supporting a wider resolution which I guess is to make them more uh, more difficult I don't know what the intended effect is what are your guys' opinions on uh, Rayman 2 Someone told me today that, uh... This is just hearsay. That they had... Finished, a, or almost finished a sequel for this game. When they were told they had to make it 3D, because 3D was the in thing. I'm looking at chat when I shouldn't be. Trying to find a good pattern. There is a 2D demo of like the originally planned Rayman 2. It seems very finicky of when he gets hit and when he doesn't. Gotta go for the jaw. That's the plan. I think I got a pattern. I just gotta get good. Uh, there are also multiple difficulty options. I chose the easiest one for the stream's sake, because the easiest of the three has infinite lives. I didn't really want to be uh, repeating levels unnecessarily because of running out of lives. Come on. There we go! Oh, achievements.
I've assembled a cave medallion. New items unlocked in the shop. Oh, is that what the... That's what the present boxes do. There are uh, extra mosquito levels. Because in the original game, there was just the one level where you ride mosquito. They're a whole, like, extra level type in this game. Power-ups? Skins? You want it? It's yours, my friend! As long as you have enough tings! What do we got? I bought some of these. Aurora Rayman. Sp Spider-Man? I'm gonna be Spooderman. Where is he? There he is, he's, he's Spider Rayman. Playtopia. That's new. Did they add it? Okay. I figured they might add another world. I figured that they would use the the cake tile set to make a whole world out of it. They made a whole new... This guy made a whole new uh, sprite tile set. Oh, this is weird. I've never seen Rayman in the setting before. I don't know if I like it. Unless this is official in some capacity. I know there was that educational Rayman game. This isn't from that, is it? Oh no. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't go back to- and this is slippery too. I missed all that stuff. a very yes this is a very high contrast setting compared to existing Rayman worlds I think my favorite uh, my favorite setting in Rayman was uh, the art world level I think the third one with like the the, the pink rainbow vaporwave background and the really nice music Oh, these don't disappear. Yeah, Art World is my favorite in general, but that... That background specifically is very nice. The bullets no longer swing hammers. I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of like the hammers. Oh! Give me that. Oh, alright. One good punch with a good fist is enough. You ever give someone a good fist? See you later, Cronky. Thanks for watching. I did it again. I think I the arrow's pointing that way, so I must have missed a cage. Oh, that's that one. So I'm probably going to come up beneath that. Come on. There you go. There you go. Ah. Oh, that's not hard to get to. These guys, these pink and yellow dots, were uh, unlockable. They were grayed out in previous levels, so... If I want to get all the cages, I will have to go back to uh, any areas that they were at to climb up.
what were we talking about in Bandland? They, uh... They changed the clouds so that they weren't clouds in every world. They changed from world to world. But these guys are still consistently the same, little spike balls. They don't have different, uh, different styles or graphics. Before the stream, someone heard that I was playing Rayman, and they posted a picture of the educational game as a joke. And now here I am in Babyland, climbing building blocks with xylophone music playing. What a bizarre trend that was is a... Uh... Oh, hello. We skating now? I'm on a moped. Oh, I, I gotta keep up. Was uh, platforming mascots just having educational games, like Mario's early years, Mario teaches typing. Uh, there was a Sonic one. It was Sonic Schoolhouse. Never happened to crash, which is probably for the best. There are probably others that I'm forgetting about. Imagine a, a Bubsy educational game. The sorry kids who would have gotten that. Like, it's bad enough that it's Bubsy, but it's an educational game. Sound effects? We got lots of them. Oh, I missed a bunch of stuff. How do I get down there? It's too late. Yeah. It's like entering an alternate reality. Where this was a world in the original Rayman. English learning game as a kid. Was it about learning English? Was it like a second language game? I, mean, I guess that would make sense given that he's French, but... It was German. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. No, I cannot. Darn. I have to be able to get up here somehow, though. There's stuff up here. No, come down here. These robots. Man, these robots! I'm gonna miss my opportunity. Come on. Come on, Mr. Ball. Mr. Ball, please. It's like waiting for the star to fall in Yoshi's Island. Okay. I got it.
Dam? Or I think that's Bam. Man Ray. Find the concept of the of the area. It's not that weird for Rayman. It would it would be better without the uh, without the Legos in the background. The sky's pretty. Just make it sky. Sky's nice. So, uh, the Magician is no longer in levels in this version. Instead, there are uh, extra collectibles. The Magician's tokens, which, uh, you collect to unlock the Magician's minigames. Which are just an icon on the map. You just go, you visit the Magician, and you, and you use the tokens to play levels. I don't know if I'm gonna get this one. I think the ball is in a position where it cannot despawn. Oh, here we go. This'll do it. I'm gonna give this one more go. Oh, that's too too far. Stop, 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 stop! Ah! I tried. stuff on this level. These are new. I like these. The swing rings. Hello. I took two more hits than I should have from that enemy. That guy had no business hitting me. music is a little bit more grating than the original Rayman music. I can appreciate the attempt. So far we've only had one new track that I thought was really stellar. I want that. 
I don't really need it, but it's nice. Now I can say that I've gotten it, and I can tell all my friends. Oh yeah, there's lots of, uh, there's a lot of new gameplay mechanics in this. still a fairly difficult game, even despite nerfing some of the more egregious things about Rayman 1. Or toning down, I would say. Have I been here before? No, this is new. I think. Yeah, this is the, this is the gift area. So how do I get the gift? Fine. I got... No, I don't got this. Oh, whoops. I saw a cage up there. I got greedy. Thinking of how to go right. Maybe I do want to go right first. No, the present thing is to the left, so that's probably a, that's probably an optional route. This song, though, man, this song. things. I've been, uh, been watching Wok Fu lately. And boy, the French sure know how to make things pretty. Animated things, specifically. Got it! Life refill, get a one up that's just extra tings because I have infinite lives. That's okay, I like tings. Tings are useful. It's nice when video game currency is useful and not useless like in Zelda games. Stuff over there. I want the stuff. I like stuff. There we go. This was the perfect time to get Spider Ray, man. What appears 
something up here. Is that that guy that appeared? There's one of these platforms. Platforms that appear. That's fine. I don't need that. That's not worth going back for. was another actually very creative new mechanic for this game. There's a painter that gives you a paint fist and you can do this. I've never seen anything like this in a game before. It's very neat. This is like, uh, this is an indie game mechanic. previous level, I had to bring a bouncing ball up one of these, uh, up one of these papers using paint. That was a pain. Can I do, I can do, okay. I can still do the fist, and my fist is the same size. My fist is still big. This music works a little better. This sounds like Rayman 1 music. So if Mario turns into Super Mario when he grows big, what does Rayman turn into when he grows small? Just Ray? Ray boy? I hope I don't need to be I don't hope I don't need to come up here while being small. Goodbye. You will not be missed, Mr. Chest Piece. Chest Piece. Chest Piece. I want that. I want in there. Let me in. Just to show me it's up here. I need to be I need to get up here while being small. Aw oh, man! 
I knew they were gonna make me do it. Wait, can I? Can I make that? Yeah, I can make that jump. Big now? Ooh, there we go. I knew it was somewhere. There's a there's a, an easy way in if you don't go all the way up to the secret area. You can just go through there. You run so slow when you're small. Much better. Let's renew my paint. Fist. It's like a kung fu movie villain. Paint fist. There's a bad guy in the next uh, Jet Li movie. When they uh, revive Jet Li with hologram technology. That was the thing with Bruce Lee. There's a whole article on Wikipedia about... Uh, a genre of films they call Bruce Ploitation, which is just a bunch of knockoff Bruce Lee movies after Bruce Lee died with Bruce Lee impersonators. It's got its own article and everything. There's also an article on Wikipedia for uh, Resting Bitch Face, which I find hilarious that there's an article named that on Wikipedia. And it's treated as scholarly. Hello. No, thank you. Please. I think they tried to cheese-proof it. I was getting pushed. They tried to make it so that you can't damage sponge. Or you can't damage boost through the train. There's all my cages. It does match the style, great. Right? This all looks like stuff that would be in the original Rayman. Fine. I can do a jump or two. Duck a train. What? Oh. Okay. That's fine. I 
Imagine a Battletoad style gauntlet. The one on the hover bikes. Except it's Rayman and stuff just pops into existence. Which I guess it does in Battletoads, but you have a little warning. It flashes first. The Lair of the Chestmaster or Brain Games. Hello, Darian. So, this world was not in the original Rayman at all. This is completely new. The creator made a whole new world with a whole new tile set and everything. Okay, this is a lock and key level. down and then come back up here again later? Oh, that's mean. I don't like that. Devil Man Cry Baby. else over here? Oh, I didn't go up yet. Wait, I want in there. How do I get that? Oh, that's how I get that. Have you ever played a Devil May, uh, Devil May Cry, Darian? Actually, what systems did you, uh, what systems did you have growing up? Were you a PlayStation kid? finish this world, or I may, uh, I may stop partway. I don't know yet. I guess it'll depend on how long these levels are. We're in new territory now, and there still might be more after this. There might be a whole candy plateau world. Candy chateau? That's the purple door. Green door? The dink door. And up here is a cage. I like cages.
Now, do I want to be bigger again? Well, I guess I'm committed now. I do need to be bigger again. Nice of the princess to make sure I can get back up again. Oh, there's the little... They're the, the little Lego trees. I remember those. They're Lego or whatever they are. I remember those trees. Oh. oh they can go through the doors. Not the most original level gimmick. It's new for Rayman, I guess. CBA. Yeah. Alright, red door. Am I going to be going back that way? No, I'm not. Well, maybe I am. Maybe there's extra stuff. Looks like there's more optional level. over here now. Oh, Magician's Token. Thank you. Do I get a little mini yeah? yeah. No, it just grows again. <laughs> oh, we get another dark level with four cages? Why would you do that? Wasn't one enough? I need keys to get to the cages. Went through a Rayman phase in high school. You ever play the game or you just like the character? Oh no, I have to go down that way. You're gonna blindside me with a train in the dark? Oh, okay. Once again, Rayman proving his invulnerability while hanging. It's a very unique ability. Oh, you're, you're that. You're a bad guy. Oh, 
wonder what this guy's resume looks like. I mean, he must have put this on it. I'm curious if Ubisoft knows about this, uh, this fan project. Also, there's an abundance of dropping into pits in this world. In this level, specifically. Wanna try Origins and Legends? Are they not on, uh, are they not available on PS4 in any way? No, get back. Fist. I would have liked that fist. I guess by putting his own world at the very end of the game. That gives him some lenience to make it extra difficult. As ROM hackers tend to want to do. I don't know where the yellow door is. Or I don't remember. Have I seen it? up here. That's death. Legends is. Oh, and I don't have the key anymore. Be nice if I at least knew where I was taking the key to, but uh, that doesn't seem to be where that is. This is the green door, and I got through there. I got the key for that. I'm, I'm a little weary of this world. I think this will be my last level. And then I'll stop and I'll come back to the rest of the game if on a future date. another dark level. The goal of keeping the one dark level. We don't need that. Get that out of here. Okay, so if I get back up here again, there's like, uh, there's stuff over there, no? Yeah, it is. Okay. I was just before a checkpoint, too. Ow. Very scary xylophone music. 
is the rejected Chucky movie soundtrack. Now I need a green key. What appeared? Something appeared. It's not like the original Rayman didn't have very frustrating levels and level concepts at times. So in that way, it is, it, it, it's not, like, against the spirit of the original game. I just, I just don't like dark levels. Flash. Where's HMO5? Gotta get the key again. I guess I would be too if I had no limbs. Raymond was always a character I was interested in for Smash, but uh, I feel like now that Min Min is in the game, his chances are probably pretty low because his gimmick's already been taken. We already have a fist throw character, and Sakurai doesn't like to do repeats. He likes a new mechanic for every character. This is the only role the voice actor for Rayman had. Chess master. Oh, okay. He's a clown face. Never lost a single match of chess. You take the white king, I'll take the black king. The goal is to get your own king to the other side of the board. Oh, okay. How do? to do a boss fight, I suppose. Ow! At least he waits his turn, like a gentleman. seems heavily weighted in my favor if I if I go first. I say that as I'm getting my ass beat. Ah! Yes, this is this is definitely one of the crasher sounding music tracks.
I got the master key. Is that an... I, I wonder if that's a proper item. Like, if I can just get through all the doors in that level when I go back now. I'll do, I'll do the uh, one more uh, mosquito level before I stop. Just to show these off. Resume the Squidward running sounds. It ha did it have to be this music, though? section where you're going at like uh, super speed with Mosquito. Then again, it's been a while since I did the first stream of this. I don't remember if that was in here or not. That might have been the easiest level of that type. Get back to work, Mr. Squidward! Alright, it saves automatically, so I'm good. I'll come back next time, and I'll do the final two Playland ep uh, levels. It has been consistently uh, four per world. I guess we'll see if there's a world after that. Punch Mr. Dark in the schnoz. Boy, I hope I can punch Mr. Dark in the schnoz. And he doesn't just leave defeated after the boss gauntlet. I really want a Mr. Dark fight. We'll see how the next stream goes. We'll see if I come back to 100% the game, get all the cages. But, uh, for now, thank you for watching. Thanks for the raids. And go check out our YouTube if you're curious. See you later.